This video is on how to change your vehicle's spark plugs. Uh, so the first thing I like to do, always before I do anything to my vehicle, is consult the manual. I bought this. Uh, these things are great. I mentioned these books before in my videos, like thirty dollars or something. And uh, even though I changed spark plugs about well, probably hundreds of times in different vehicles I've had over the years, I always reference it just to make sure there's not anything I'm forgetting. Here's the section on changing the plugs. Over here is the section that shows the gap, the spark plug gap for the uh, this vehicle. In this case, it's a '96 Honda van. Go over here. This is dot zero three nine to dot uh, zero four three inches. So in that case, you take your spark plug gap tool. This is it. Hopefully, I can show this and use the camera at the same time. There's all sorts of different variations of these gap tools, but. All you do is you just take the, there's uh, measurements along the outside edge and take your spark plug uh, electrode there, run it along this edge until you got, to, in this case here, it's dot .039 to uh, what, the dot .043. So I just run it along the outside edge of the gap tool. Uh, and see if it uh, if it'll go to the proper reading here. That's all you do. I've already uh, got these. I just ran it along the edge. It was uh, too narrow, and I just uh, very gently kind of wiggled it on there without without moving, hitting the tip, just moving the electrode back a bit from the tip of the spark plug. Um, depending on what type of vehicle you have, I mean, sometimes I've change plugs and not gap them. I don't really recommend that, but I've uh, never really had any problem with it. But anyway, that's a quick and easy thing you want to do first, is gap your plugs. Then I always just take a little container so I don't drop things down into the engine with, it, <coughs> with everything I'm going to need. There's all my plugs. Um, in this case, these plugs have, uh, there's our spark plug wires, and uh, these ones have a, the end of the wire goes probably five, four or five inches down the uh, motor, so I need an extension on my ratchet. So when I go to take these off, I'll just twist them gently like that to just kind of release them from the plug and then pull it out. Maybe I'll do that now just to show you what I'm talking about here. So I turn it, make sure that it's, it's not seized onto the plug, then just kind of gently wiggle it back and forth so you don't want to break anything. And then as you can see, that's how long it is down into this, where the spark plug is. So that's why I need the uh, extension. The ratchet extension, which is here. And in the case of this, uh, I just took one of my uh, spark plugs and popped it into my new spark plugs. And popped it into this. This is a 5 8 inch spark plug socket. And uh, then I'll put this down in there and then just keeping very very light pressure I'll just turn that until it kind of falls on the spark plug and there you can see it did it there now if I turn this it's not turning so it must be on the spark plug now if I lift it up a little bit now I can spin it so you, you just want to just turn that gently until it falls down onto the plug like that so there's the extension. I got a torque wrench for this case. I'll check the book, see what the, the torque is for what, when I put the plugs back in. Again, I mean, you can do this with a torque wrench. Just be careful not to put too much pressure. You, you know, you're definitely better off to have a uh, little loose than over tight because if you break a plug in your engine, you don't definitely don't want that. That's going to be a ugly business getting it out. Okay, so we have the extension wrench into the spark plug uh, cavity like we were talking about. So that's set on the spark plug now. So now I take my wrench set for lefty loosey or counterclockwise to take something off. I set that into the extension here and you want to be careful when you do this just kind of ease onto it because the last thing you want to do is break a spark plug off in your engine. So I'm holding this steady here and I'm going to start to apply some pressure Okay, so now I felt that spark plug loosen off. So like I say, we're going counterclockwise to remove it. 
I'll get this loose enough to a point and I'll probably just take the uh, ratchet off and just unscrew it with my hands. But like I say, yeah, if you end up with a spark plug that's just not, if you're applying a lot of force and it doesn't seem to be coming out, you don't get too aggressive because if you break off a plug, it's going to be a bad job trying to get it out. And when we go to put the new one in, I'll just mention a little something that I like to do that should alleviate that problem. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so, slight problem here I didn't predict. My extension is actually so long that I'm hitting the firewall of the vehicle here. So, I'll have to just... See if I can remove it from the socket and can kind of ease it out. Okay, so this is something I kind of didn't plan on. That's too long. I'll have to find a different length uh, of extension. So I'll get my videographer there to just stop. Okay, this. so I got a smaller extension, this one here. And I put it on the socket, spark plug uh, socket, and now we'll take it out. So there's our used spark plug. Uh, that's got some oil on it, so I'm actually going to be doing another video because I'm going to do a compression test on this vehicle. And that's, but uh, anyway, that plug actually doesn't look bad, but I generally will replace them anyway, regardless. Once I go this far, it's really not worth putting the same plug back in. Now what we do is always give the uh, the boot a little cleaning just to get any corruption that might be on there that'll be might lead your spark away from your spark plug. So we just clean that up a little bit. Then I take a new spark plug like this. As per the earlier part of this video. I've already gapped them. And this is what I was talking about as far as plugs that'll stick. This anti-seize compound is great. I just put a bit on the thread of the plug so that it'll come out easier for the next time. But you gotta make sure you do not get that up around the end of the plug. But this will make it thread in nice. I'll put some of that on. Then Take that, insert the plug into our spark plug wrench. So, ease it down in there and just kind of smooth that around a little bit and turn while you're doing it. Going clockwise this time, obviously, to tighten it up. Okay, and if I try to pull that out, See that the plug has threaded in. So now you put that back in there, tighten that up a little bit, and now I'm going to tighten that up. Change this ratchet so that it's going clockwise. So very. Gently turning that in. Now I don't know, it's hard to judge pressure when you see somebody doing this, but if I didn't have a torque wrench handy, which I do, I'll just check my manual that I mentioned before to see what the torque is on that plug. But I wouldn't go any further than about that right now if I didn't have the torque wrench. That would be it. Once you do that, you just take your plug, which we already Discuss that we cleaned it off. Let's pop that back in there. Kind of thing. And that basically is the process. You do that another three times in the case of this vehicle because it's a four cylinder engine. That's it.